Hello everyone. I've got some Rainbow Quartz Tree of Life pendants. These are a new stock that you'll also find on the website which I'll link below. Each one is a different colour. They have a silver Tree of Life to the front of them. I'm going to make some necklaces out of them. And I thought I'll just show you what I'm going to do now. Again, very easy to do. I'm just, I'll just take two. Already done is a 20 inch chain, which can be made into an 18 if needed. But I chose this because they are quite strong. Not that they're overly heavy or anything. I thought I'd go for a 20 inch. And for this one, I'm going to offer a cord, a black cord necklace. Now I do have lots of different colors of these available. This one is 18 inches when I add the findings to it. I'm never completely happy with the findings on these. So I always add my own. So I know that they're a lot more stronger. So I've just got a lobster clasp, two six millimeter jump rings, and then you've got the chain. Very simple, just take two pairs of pliers, open jump ring, I'm just going to thread the lobster clasp through and then I hope you can see I'm just going to put the end of this one through and then close. That one and then on this end just take it again the other jump ring open attach to the loop then onto the actual loop we attach the chain and then close now I'm hoping this will fit Otherwise, I should have done it before I attached the chain. Let's have a look. Yes, it's gone through. That's how I do my cord necklaces. I'm very fussy. There's that one. So I'm just going to list these on the website. I think they're very pretty. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I have lots of tutorials ideal for the complete beginner. As I said before, I have a website. The majority of the time is the products that I sell and it just shows what you can do with them. Thank you for watching, take care and happy crafting!